Assalamu alaikum students. Now I'm going to start lesson 3 of unit 7. The lesson is the magic paintbrush. I'm going to read the text first then I will explain it. Samba lived on a big island in Indonesia and he loved to paint. As soon as he could hold a stick he drew birds in the sand. As he grew older he drew flowers and animals then trees and their shadows. Very soon, people in the town began to remark on his talents. Have you seen the pictures in the parents in his parents' house? Have you seen his mural in the doctor's clinic? Mural means with a, a kind of painting which is uh, on the wall. He is not just good, he is very fast. He painted a picture of his three brothers in just half an hour. But Samba was not satisfied. I want my pictures to look real. How can I draw? the drop of water on the end of the leaf. In his teens, Samba continued to paint, but he was never satisfied with his pictures. I wish I had better paints and better brushes. If I had a paint box with 40 different colors, I could paint much better. Well, students, uh, the lesson is about Samba, who lived in Indonesia and he loved to paint. He could draw pictures of birds, flowers, trees, etc. He draw the pictures of his three brothers in just half an hour. He wished that if he had better paints and brushes, he could paint much better. Now move to text. Samba was in his room. One night, thinking these things, he could paint as he had no lamp on the candle. Suddenly, an old man in a long coat appeared near the foot of his bed, holding a wooden box. Who are you? asked Samba in a frightened little voice. The old man didn't answer. He only said, I have brought you a present, Samba. A new brush and some paints. Now your paintings will come to life, you will see. Samba was so excited that he could hardly sleep. As soon as the sun rose, he took out the paint box and painted a bird. His feathers gleamed gleamed means sh sh shown something which is shining as after a dive in a lake suddenly the bird raised its beak into the air then began to sing finally it flew out of the window samba shook his head from side to side and blinked a dream perhaps he quickly drew the black spider with eight long legs and two orange eyes he drew the hairs on the spider's leg and the spider ran off the page across the floor and under the door. Someone knew that they only had one lamp in the house, so he painted another big one. Then he picked it off the page and held it high in his hands. Look, father, I have made a lamp for you, he said. These were good times for some of his family. They had new positions for, for cows, a flock of ducks, new tools for the farm, then four water buffaloes. Whenever a person needed something such as a new coat or a new saucepan or a newly tied roof, Samba painted it. Well, in these lines, uh, uh, we have came across that one day he was sitting in his room thinking for the lamp because he only had one candle and couldn't draw anything in its light. Suddenly an old man appeared in a mysterious way and offered him a gift of brush and some paints and asked him to take this brush and this will turn the paintings into life. When he painted a bird, it flew out of the window. Then he drew a spider and it began to run across the floor. Then he drew some positions for his family like cows, dogs, buffaloes, etc. Move on to text. When the town head man heard about Samba's magic paintbrush, he summoned, summoned me called Samba with his paint box to his house. I need new furniture for my house, he said. Samba didn't want to anger the head man, so he painted some simple stools for him. These are too small, shouted the head man. Paint me some pictures covered in gold and precious stones. Paint me some new clothes. Paint me a golden crown. Paint me palace. But you don't need luxury goods when people in the town are hungry, argued Samba. I will only paint things that people need, not what they desire. 
You are a rude boy, shouted the headman. You refuse to obey my orders. And he ordered his servant to take Samba and lock him in a room at the top of his house. Stay there, he shouted. You will have no food and no water until you paint what I command. Samba looked out of the window and thought. Then he remembered the face of the wise old man, so he quickly painted the letter, passed it through the window and leaned it against the side of the house. Then with his paint box under his arm, he climbed down the ladder and ran away. Samba stayed out of the way of the headman but continued to paint for the people who needed his help. Now, in these line, in these lines, we have read that the headman of the village he uh, called Samba to paint, uh, called Samba and asked him to paint some luxurious things for him, like a golden crown and palace. Samba actually refused to make luxurious things by saying that he will only paint the things that people needed, not what they desired. But he painted some ordinary things like um, stools and uh, stools um, for the headman. Hatman uh, locked Samba in a room for not obeying his orders. In room, he painted a ladder. He climbed down the ladder and ran away. But he continued to paint for the people who needed his help. Well, students, the lesson is done. Now, come to the question number four. You have to complete the sentences with words or phrases from the text. The students, we have read some words and you have to pick them from the text and you have to fill them. Here, I have already done for you. I'm going to read it. On a sunny day, a tree is positioned between the sun and its own shadow. When you say something about the subject, you remark on it. If you can do many things well, you have many talents. A painting that is painted on the wall is a mural. The water on the lake shone and gleamed in the sunlight. Things that you know that you own are called possessions. A group of chickens or bird is called a flock. A tiled roof is covered in reddish squares of cooking cooked clay. If you order people to come to you, you summon them. A diamond is a precious stone that is used in jewelry. A uh, thing that is more expensive and beautiful than you need is a luxury. So we have filled the blanks by using the words which we have already gone through the lesson. Now we have uh, two questions at the bottom. Was Samba right to refuse the commands of the village headman? Well, as students, I have uh, done questions for you. You have to prepare the page like this. Right? Uh, you have to mention unit number, lesson number, page number, then the title of the lesson, then the question. Was Samba right to refuse the commands of the village man? The answer is yes. Samba was right to refuse the commands of the village headman. Second question. Was Samba right to paint things for his family, for village, for himself? The answer is yes. Samba was right to paint things for his family, his village, and for himself. The lesson is done. Thank you.